In this video, I'm going to upgrade to the latest mainstream version of Windows 10, that's version 1909 or September 2019. If I right click the start button and select system, we'll see that I've got version 1903 and that's March 2019. So the upgrade install can be done using the Windows 10 media creation tool and we can go ahead and download this. So I've already downloaded this, so let's just launch it. And it will take a few moments to get a few things ready. And we'll be taken to the license agreement screen and we can select accept. And then it will take another few moments to get ready. And then we can select upgrade this PC now and then select next to continue the upgrade install. Now we can also use the Windows 10 media creation tool to download an ISO or to make a bootable USB and I instruct in doing so in another tutorial video. I've already made the bootable USB so I can open it within Windows Explorer and launch the setup.exe and this will take us to a similar screen where we can begin the upgrade install. I can also right click the installation ISO and select mount and begin the setup from there. So in this case I'll continue with the install, so I'll select next and it will check for updates. And it will take a few moments to check for the updates. And then it will ask us if we're ready to install. So here we can select change what to keep and we'll be given options to keep personal files and apps, to keep personal files only or to keep nothing. Although if you're going to keep nothing I just recommend perform a clean installation using the bootable USB instead. So once you've made your selection here it will once again check for updates and bring you back to this ready to install screen. And in the screen select next and then it's just a case of leaving your computer unattended to perform the upgrade install. So the computer will restart a couple of times and then you'll be taken into the login screen. Or in my case, since I don't have a password set, the install will just continue on to the final stages. And finally, we'll reach the Windows 10 desktop and Microsoft Edge will state welcome to Windows. So once this is done, we can right click the start button and select system. And now we can see that the Windows version is 1909. The next thing to do is to check if your OEM has any driver updates. So since this is a Dell Optiplex, I'm going to use Dell Command Update and this has been previously installed. So I can just launch it direct from the start menu. And here we see that it's got a couple of updates. So the Dell Command Update is for business models such as the Optiplex Latitude and Precision models. For the Inspiron or Postro models you're going to want to use Dell Update instead. For a Lenovo you're going to want to use a Lenovo System Update. And for an HP you're going to want to use HP Support Assistant. So these utilities all have a very similar user interface. You basically download the utility, it scans your system, checks the drivers installed and if your OEM offers a newer driver, then it goes ahead and installs it. Now, in my case, 
the Dell command update installed a graphics driver and then it closed down. So I'm just going to go ahead and restart the system and once I've restarted it, I'm just going to launch Dell command update again. And once again, I'll select check. And this time, it's only found one driver because the graphics driver has been installed. So let's just go ahead and install this. And now it's successful. So I'll just restart the computer again. And I'll launch Dell command update once again. And now it tells me that all the system drivers are installed. So that's me with the latest mainstream build of Windows 10 version 1909 and up-to-date system drivers.